Hi, welcome back to my channel. Candice here. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am sharing a process video of layout number four made with the October kit from Click Kits called Funfetti. So I am scrapping a picture of my little guy after he got out of the pool in our backyard. And I used a cut file that I found online. It's a free cut file, and if you head over to my blog, I'll link my blog down below, and then I will have a link on my blog to this free cut file. So I just used my silhouette and cut out this cut file, and then I backed the cut file with all the papers from the kit and this month the click kits have the collection um, from Pink Fresh Studios called Happy Things and it has to be one of my very favorite collections. It's just so beautiful and the colors in it are just so pretty. So you saw there I used the packaging technique to add some watercolor behind my photo. And this number four chipboard piece, my little guy is four years old, so I wanted to use that. And I just used some gesso and I used a tissue to cover the chipboard piece with the gesso. I have to admit, I hate when my fingers get messy. So I used the the tissue and my fingers still got messy and so I had to stop the video and go wash my hands because I hated having them messy. So here I had the idea, I have this stamp set from Allie Edwards and it's the Go stamp set and it has lots of little sayings on it. So what I thought would be cute is if I took all these little sayings from the stamp set and stamp them around the cut file. So some of the sentiments that are on the stamp set, I will tell you because I know you can't really see in the video. So they say things like time for fun, let it go, on the go, here's the story, here we go, see the world, take me away, go get them, and love this memory. So really versatile, great stamps that you can use in your everyday pocket page scrapbooking or everyday layouts. So I just, I love her stamps. They're just my favorite. So I use them on a lot of layouts, but I get very worried about stamping directly on my layouts. I'm not very brave when it comes to making my layouts and I'm always afraid that I'm going to mess it up. So this, to stamp directly on my layout here, I, I had to take a deep breath every time before I stamped because I was just so afraid of messing up the stamping, but it all worked out great. And I used my stays on, which is good at giving really crisp, solid impressions. So I used my stays on in black and that worked great. So to make those stamps arch around that cup file, I just laid them down on, um, my mat, then picked him up with my stamp block and then would arch the stamp just a little bit because, you know, they're flexible. These are um, acrylic stamps. I believe they're acrylic or maybe they're polymer, but either way, they're both um, flexible so you can curve them and manipulate them to fit wherever you need your stamp to go. So I'm just finishing up the stamping, I decided to add one right above the photo and another one to that little bow tie piece. So those are going to be my last two uh, pieces of stamping. 
And then I am going to look for some paper to mat my photo. So usually, you know, I like to mat with some vellum, but because it was, I had that watercolor there and I was looking for more definition between the photo and my cut file. So I wanted to use one of the pattern papers that came in the kit. So I'm gonna grab this wood grain paper and just cut a small little border around that photo. And then that is gonna be my mat for my photo. So after I have that all set up, I'm ready to start embellishing my page. So I just checked to make sure that that little four is all dry. And then I also grabbed that little flare that came in the kit. And I love adding thread to my pages. So I grabbed some black thread because it matched the stamping sentiments I did around that circle. So I just balled that up and placed that right behind my photo, peeking out on the edges. And then I'm gonna look through my embellishments and see what else I can add to my embellishment cluster on the lower right hand part of that picture. And then see if there was anything else that I wanted to add. Now, I, at this point, I think I recorded this two weeks ago, um, but at this point I hadn't used any of the tags and I was really trying to use some of those tags from Pink Fresh Studios. And I tried, but it just didn't end up making its way onto the layout. So I decided to move on to look for a title. So I'm gonna use the um, actually, first I'm going to add some color shine. So first I'm going to add some of the Heidi Swap color shine in gold. So I'm just adding that right above my green watercolor. So it'll just end up being right behind that photo. Drying that off with a paper towel because I'm not very patient and I like to just keep moving. So just dried that off and then I'm gonna build my little stack here in the corner. So use my adhesive runner to tape the photo down to my photo mat. And now I'm gonna work on my title. So I'm just gonna use some packaging to place my title on there, make sure it's nice and even using my grid mat. And then I can move the title around the page to find where I want to put it before I stick it down. So I love these thickers, but I did have a hard time using them this month. I don't know why. I just, I think I'm so used to using neutral colors as my titles, um, whites and blacks that something so bold, it was it was hard for me to go out of my comfort zone and use that. But I ended up, again, taking a deep breath and being brave, and I did end up using that title on this layout. So I'm gonna pop up that photo stack and place that right on top of my thread and commit to that design of my layout. So that's going to go right down there. And then I'm going to put together my little embellishment cluster. And I'm going to end up sticking the title right there, pushing that down. And then you can see how it makes it nice and easy when you use um, packaging. I've also seen other girls use wax paper and that works great too. I just happened to have some packaging close to me, so I just grabbed that and used that. So I was thinking maybe I would add a subtitle 
because I felt like there just needed to be something on the right side of that summer title. And what I end up doing is grabbing some little arrows from that thicker pack and adding three little arrows right there pointing to summer. So again, pulling out stuff from the kit, seeing if there's anything else that I could find that I could add there. Those are some cut aparts that came in the kit. These kits really do come jam packed with a ton of stuff for you to use on your layouts. Cut aparts and printables and cut files. You really can do lots of things. So here you see that I added those little gold arrows and then there's that little rubber piece that I slid right underneath the photo and that's also from Pink Fresh Studios. And I'm just adhering down my little embellishment cluster in that lower right hand corner by the photo. And then that will complete my layout today. So stay tuned at the end for some still photos. Thanks so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate every comment that you guys leave. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and have a great day. Thanks, I'll see you soon, bye-bye.